Give us two minutes, we'll answer one question. Should you see it? Brian Friel's play Translations is the story of a small Irish parish in the 19th century which is on the brink of a cultural invasion and assimilation on two fronts. One, with the upcoming opening of a national school that will offer free education to everybody, but only in the King's English, and two, the arrival of British redcoats whose job it is to map the countryside and effectively anglicize the place names. The script is both funny and tragic, and the world premiere of Translation starred the amazing Liam Neeson, Stephen Rea, and Nick Lally. Now, I enjoyed Ottawa Little Theatre's presentation of Translations, for the most part. I've read the script and know it's hilarious. The problem was the direction. There's a three-act, four-scene breakdown to the play, and the pacing in the first act was way off. There's a lot going on here between setting up the world and the coming storm and introducing ten different characters, each with their own individual quirks. Yet it all comes across rather rushed. There's little time spared for the jokes to come across or the information being given to the audiences to settle. Fortunately, several of the actors, namely Jack Allen Meltzer, Dan Barron, and Lawrence Aronovich, do excellent work and manage to carry the play forward. It's through Aronovich's Owen specifically that the conflict of translations is truly felt. Owen is translator and facilitator for the British soldiers, as well as himself a resident of the Irish parish, meaning his loyalties are being constantly put to the test. Going into the second act, the pacing corrects itself and has very strong moments on all fronts and from all actors. But when we reach the third act and the final scene, the pacing issues come back in reverse, with this one being too slow and leaving the big heartfelt climax not achieving the residence that it needs to. The crowd on the night we were there was small and fairly non-responsive. I even noticed that several people left at intermission. Now, this might be in part due to the pacing problems I just mentioned, but it may just as well be a commentary on the audience. My thinking is that rooted in Irish culture and British imperialism, Translations is a play that just might not do much for a modern Canadian audience. Translations does run at the Ottawa Little Theatre until March 3rd. Details below. What do you think? Is the subject matter of Translations too far removed from modern Canadian theatre goers? Let us know in the comments below or over on our website productionottawa.com.